Let's write the decimal, 1.6, as an improper fraction and then as a mixed number. So first off, let's call it 1.6 over 1, because now we have a fraction. Still 1.6, we're just dividing by 1, but this will get us started. Next, we need to get the 1.6 to a whole number. And to do that, we can just multiply it by 10. 10 times 1.6, that equals 16, and that's our whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 10. We also have to multiply the denominator by 10. That's because 10 over 10, it's equal to 1. We're multiplying by 1. Don't change the value, just the way we write it. 10 times 1 is 10. And now we have an improper fraction, 16 over 10. It's called an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. But we could simplify this. Looks like 2 goes into 16 and 10. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we've simplified this down to 8 fifths. The decimal 1.6 equals the fraction 16 tenths or 8 fifths. Let's convert this improper fraction here to a mixed number. So 5 goes into 8 one time with 3 left over. Then we bring the denominator across and we have 1 and 3 fifths. So one more time. 5 goes into 8 one time with 3 left over, bring the denominator across. So 1.6, the decimal, that equals the fraction, the improper fraction, 16 tenths or 8 fifths, and the mixed number, 1 and 3 fifths. And all of these have the same value, it's just they're represented differently. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.